Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to Refining with Jesse, the life coach. So, the well anticipated freezer organization video has finally arrived. I know a few people have been asking me for it, and it is here. So, if you are new here, a big welcome. I'm sending you some smooches and hugs. Come on in, like, share, subscribe, come be part of my tribe. So I'm gonna be sharing items that I use in my freezer. How do I avoid wasted space? Items that I use to make sure we are maximizing every nook and cranny of that freezer space. I'm gonna be sharing some suggestions and some items that I use for myself that has worked well. Everything from pods to storage bags that really help us eliminate freezer burn, that help us with bulky items, that help us contain our stuff, that help us with food prep. We are gonna be talking about it all from A to Z. I'm gonna actually be showing you a tutorial on items I use that work perfect for that deep, dark hole we call the freezer so now organizing the freezer can be a challenge most freezers look like this we have items on top of items we have boxes and bags all over the place we cannot see what we actually have and everything is on top of each other so it makes it super difficult to know what we have to keep it organized because it's just one drawer right and everything's kind of just thrown in there so I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. First things first, we're gonna empty our freezer and clean it out. So, when I say we're gonna empty and clean it out, I mean everything. So a lot of people are not aware that you can take out the divider in your freezer. So there is a screw on the bottom. All you need to do is get a screwdriver, unscrew it, loosen it up, take it out, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, kind of just maneuvering it out, but it does come out once you get a grip of it. All you have to do is just pull it right out. In my freezer, I actually have it removed. So if you have a handheld vacuum cleaner, this is when you want to take it out. I'm going to be using my Dyson, and I'm actually just going to vacuum up all the crumbs, the hair, the dust that has fallen down there. So one of the benefits of actually having containers in your freezer and your fridge is that the cleanup can be easily contained. So secondly, I'm gonna go in with a light spray of vinegar and water just to clean up the rest of the freezer. You don't need harsh chemicals. So we're going up to the second drawer. I'm actually taking out my ice tray and I'm actually going to repeat the process. I'm gonna vacuum up any crumbs and then I'm gonna wipe it down with the solution. Like I said, we don't need harsh chemicals. This is where your food is at um, and you shouldn't have too much spillage, right? So now second step is I'm gonna be walking you through what I have in my fridge for organization. So the first things first is we're gonna start with this bin. This is a multi-purpose bin from the container store. It actually has handles, slots for ventilation. You can see how large it is on the inside. This is the medium size. They come in small, medium, large, and extra large. And you can see how, um, how tall it is. When you're dealing with a deep drawer, you're going to need a bin that's pretty um, large. The dimensions of this is 13 by 5 by 9. So the height is almost um, 10 inches. And I have four of these. So moving on to my next item, I have two Cook Pro organizer bins. And this is what I'm going to use on my top drawer. I only have two because only two fit with the ice bin. I'm going to take this scoop out so you can see how large it is. It's, um, it's a good size. It's going to fit the top pretty well. The size of these organizers is uh, 12 by 8 by 3. That's not the exact dimensions, but I'm going to link everything in the description box so you can see. And this is a scoop from iDesign that I'm going to use for my ice. So my next item is going to be these stasher bags. So if you never heard of stasher, like what? You, you're gonna learn today. These are amazing bags. They have a pinch lock seal that makes it airtight. This set actually comes with four. It's valued at $49, but the quality of these are amazing. It comes with a half gallon, a sandwich, and a snack size. And um, what makes them so different is that you can use them in the dishwasher, you could use them in boiling water, you could use them on the stove top. Um, they just, the quality is super thick. But if you're looking for something that's not as expensive, I actually picked up these bags in TJ Maxx. Um, you can get them at Home Goods, Marshalls, places like that. It comes with the same um, lock seal, airtight um, ceiling. 
they're leak proof they're one quart but the quality is not the same I'm just gonna be honest when you wash these they just lose their whole shape and it becomes like a mess so um they're great for your basic but you have to be careful when washing them and things of that sort so my next item is the prep works pro keeper portion pods and this is great if you're looking to do food prep if you are one of those people that store um, herbs in your freezer or soups or things of that sort it uh, comes with two tablespoons for each portion and it's six for each pod so I actually have two sets of these I'm going to show you what it looks outside of the box so what sets this apart and what I love about it is that it has um, a reclosable silicone lid that helps with eliminating freezer burn and allows for expansion to avoid messes when you put like oils and things of that sort. It closes pretty well. You can see how it closes here. And it's pretty good for, um, for storing things that usually contain oil because like I said uh, it doesn't it doesn't spill over what's also great about it is that they are stackable and they have a small footprint as you can see they're not that wide so that's perfect specifically for my fridge so this is another set I have is a set of three and it's the same concept it's for storing items and this actually stores uh, three and a half ounces which is about seven tablespoons and it has like four different sections and what I love about them is that they are also stackable if you've been following me for a while you know I love stackable items so this is what the stasher set looks like when it first comes this is actually a different set though this is a set of seven and it contains the same um, sizes the half gallon the sandwich and the snack but in the back I actually have a stand-up mid and this is what a stand-up mid looks like this is the mini so just different size same concept the whole premise behind these bags is that they stand up on their own and they're used for bulkier wider items and then I have um, here the snack size and the sandwich size and that makes the whole seven now I could show you better than I can tell you so I'm gonna show you how I use all these items for my prep and how I store my stuff so first things first is I actually have a bunch of cilantro here and I'm actually going to be using it to make a cilantro paste so the purpose of the pods is that you can store your items and make some food prep in advance and still have it nice and fresh when you are ready to use it so this is going to be a great asset for my moms for the people running around and traveling long distances for work and things of that sort why because all of this is done in advance so when you are in a hurry to make dinner you have some hungry kids or hungry people on your hands or you're hungry yourself um, you want to make sure that you have your items already made versus having to come home and you know slave over um, a hot stove and making sure that you're making all your you know sauces and things from scratch so this is a great way to start eating healthier this is a great way to make sure that you're making your food in advance and it's just a great way to make sure that you're storing it in a nice safe and healthy manner so I love cilantro I usually use the paste you can use this for anything for tacos for chicken for you can put it in your rice um, so as you see I'm actually using one of my pods and now it's nice and stored so when I need it I have it now in a few months I'm actually having a little dinner party and I'm actually going to be making the paste now so that's the great thing about these storage items when you freeze items you could you know depending on what it is you could freeze items up to years and up to months so for me it's going to be a few months so I'm actually making the paste now and I'm actually going to be putting it in the pot so when I'm ready to make the the meat because it's going to be meat that I'll be making for my guests everything will be ready all I'm going to do is like literally take out the meat I am going to season it and that's it I have my sauce already ready so if you're Hispanic or been around Hispanic people or you love Hispanic food, you know we don't do anything without our sofrito. So this is a great way to store your sofrito if you make it or even if you buy it in the store. So now I have some leftover cilantro from the cilantro I cut. So I'm actually putting it in my pods. So this is a great way for people to store their herbs. So I actually grow my herbs at home so I always have herbs on hand um, but sometimes I have too much. So in order for it not to go bad, it's great to freeze it. All you need to do is just chop up your herb and put 
some olive oil just make sure that the olive oil is topping on the top and this for sure ensures like whenever you're ready to cook you have what you need there's nothing worse when you're ready to cook something and you need cilantro and it's not at hand and you have to stop and go to the supermarket well you can avoid that by just freezing your herbs and having it nice and organized the great thing about these pods as well is that you can label them so once you start freezing things and you start putting in the freezer it's super hard to tell what is what especially after they get frozen so this is a great way to ensure that i know what is my cilantro as opposed to what is my basil which is what i'm going to be chopping up now so like i said you know when you need basil for like your soups or you need basil for a recipe and you know you buy it you don't you, you know it doesn't stay fresh for too 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 long you could buy the most amazing organizing bins in your fridge but you know everything has an expiration date so this is a great way to ensure that whatever you need when you are ready to cook you have it so let's talk fruit a lot of fruit goes bad in people's refrigerator and one way to avoid that is to make sure you are freezing your fruit so I like to eat a lot of fruit I use it in my smoothies I like to have a smoothie every other day especially now that the warm weather is coming up so I actually buy bulks of fruits I have usually fresh fruit in the fridge but then I also freeze them so in order to freeze them properly and make sure that they're not getting attached and it doesn't become like a big bulk is to put them on parchment paper or any type of bin that you might have and separate them put them in the freezer and then freeze them for about two to three hours and then just transfer them into your storage bags so i do this with all my fruit and the great thing about the trays that i have is that each tray has a top like i said i love to invest in items that i can stack so this doesn't take me long when I come from the market I take my fruit I put some in the fridge and then I go and I freeze a few of them and then I just transfer them into my storage bags so this ensures that I always have fruit on hand so when I want my smoothie or I want fruit to be used and you know my French toast and things of that sort I don't have to go running around last minute looking for fruit if I don't have it in my fridge it's definitely in my freezer there's nothing worse when you want to eat something or make something and you don't have the proper ingredients and I know you guys know what I'm talking about so now if you're like I don't have time for that I buy my fruit that's okay what I will always suggest is taking the fruit out of the bags that it comes in and transferring it into a transparent bag where you can see the contents and see how much of what you have so I usually do that with everything that comes in solid bags so I usually just transfer everything that's in a solid bag or that comes in a box and I just transfer it into my plastic bags and that just ensures that I can see what I have right I also you know can control the narrative of um, the amount of space that is taking up if so this actually just bought I want to talk about this because I just bought this maybe three days ago it already got freezer burn and the bag already broke and this is the type of things that drives me up the wall and this is why investing in plastic bags is so important not only that but look at the size of this box look how much space is going to take so we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go transfer my patties into a plastic bag and this ensures that it's going to avoid further freezer burn and when I go to eat it it's gonna be nice and safe and it's gonna you know taste right it's gonna be um, well maintained and the great thing about it is I can see everything I can see how much I have in it so I'm gonna do that with everything like I said so here's a tip so you might be saying okay I gotta throw away the box but how I'm gonna know how to make it well take a take a scissor actually go behind the box and cut out the instructions on how to actually cook the item and just tape it behind the item so now you get rid of the box bulky items and you have everything you need now storing corn on the cob apples oranges bulky items you are going to need a bag that works with it now this is the stasher stand up mid that I was talking about so I actually had some corn on the cob the bag was open it was getting a little bit of freezer burn so like I said we want to make sure that we are protecting our food and our investment so I switched it up and put it into the stasher bag and as you can see there's so much space and so much room to just add upon it stasher bags has a wide opening a wide mouth for these specific bulky items so if you've been struggling with how to store corn on the cob and wider items of the such and they don't fit into your standard one quart regular um 
storage bags this is what you need so this is the mini next to it same concept so the mini holds 28 ounces and the mid holds 56 ounces and they actually have even bigger items than that so I am going to be talking about my veggies so in order for my veggies to maintain its color and to maintain its flavor and to be safe to eat and all that great stuff by the time I get to it I blanch my veggies so blanching requires just boiling it and then throwing it in a, a bucket of ice to shock it and then just towel drying it and then just storing it so this is the way I store my veggies I put them in the stature bags and I'm gonna do it for a few of my veggies and like I said it's just the same as my fruit I always have fresh on hand and then some in the freezer so now we're gonna get to it we are going to organize the fridge I'm actually going to be putting everything back in so the first thing I'm gonna do is start with my multi-purpose bins and I'm gonna be putting that on the bottom like I said I have four of them after I remove the divider you can see how much space I have if I wanted to I can add a fifth bin so from the last I checked the multi-purpose bins were out of stock for like forever they probably still are and for me I really don't need it so my second tip is to categorize your items and I'm gonna show you what I mean right now I'm actually the first bin is gonna be for breakfast so it's only breakfast items that's going in there my second one is going to be for the snacks and so on and so forth so I'm gonna continue just stacking everything up putting them into categories and just making sure that everything is nice and set and organized properly in here Here's another tip, if you can, when you buy your fish and your meat, try to make sure you are buying the items that are individually wrapped. So I'm going to show you what I mean. As you can see, each fish is wrapped individually. So this is great when you want to defrost items. It's also great for storing items. As you can see, I'm taking out the fillet out of the bag and it's actually going to save me a world of space. Not only that, but I can see how much fillets I have everything in the freezer needs to be seen with the naked eye so now you can see here that i still have extra space the bins didn't go all the way and it might seem like it's wasted space but uh-huh i got a solution for that remember that big bulky box of pizza well we took out the pies i took out the pies and guess what they fit perfectly here so that's one but two actually fit nice and comfortable right here on the side so guys take things out of the boxes it's going to save you so much space and like I said we want to make sure everything is visible you want to see what you have when you cannot see what you have it's wasted money because you wind up buying the same items over and over and over again so in the middle is going to be the meat section now there's no meat eating in this house so um, the only thing I really have here is like plant-based burgers and then chicken um, cutlets that I usually have for Shorty who is my dog um, or I just have for other people who eat meat um, and I always have that like if company comes over and you know they might want me so this is what the freezer is looking like after I put everything back everything is in a category that's why I have four bins or in this you know in this case I actually have five sections to be honest and if you count the section where the pizza is then that's six sections so everything is categorized we have everything in its category and we're not gonna mix when we are talking about organizing we want to make sure everything has a home like I like to keep my fish and, and shellfish and seafood all together in one bin and then I like to keep um, you know just like potatoes and fast foods in another and then I like to keep meats in another and then I like to keep snacks in another so that's gonna be your finger foods and then I like to keep breakfast items in another like if you have bread in the freezer then you know that would be a category for you and so on and so forth but it's super beneficial to have everything in category so when you're looking for it you know where it's at so I put the divider back in the refrigerator guys just to show you what it looks like and look and, and just the amount of space it would have with the divider and as you can see it's very minimal so it should be beneficial for everyone to remove the dividers if they feel they need to so we're gonna work on the top drawer so the first thing I'm gonna put back is my ice bin before I have ice all over the damn place 
So I'm gonna put my storage bins. I already have the storage bags and pouches already set up in them. So it's gonna make it easy to just put right and flow it in into the freezer. And I'm gonna go through it guys, but this is how everything is looking. And as you can see, we still have space, right? So this is just a different angle so you can see how much space is left over. But like I said, I'm like a Houdini. I always figure out solutions like that's my thing. So remember those pods that I was working on and putting all my freezer items into such as my cilantro? Well, guess what? They're gonna go in there. As you can see, it's important that they're stackable and they slide right in. There is a lid right here, so only three fit. But no worries because my fourth one fits right on top so when you are working with your freezer and refrigerator it is so important to measure 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 right before you even get started and now as you can see i still have space but guess what we are going to put the rest of my pods and they fit perfectly i mean perfectly right into the section and i'm going to just put the third one right there in that empty slot so it is imperative that you measure properly and you measure and have a vision for how you want your freezer to look. And then I'm just gonna put my scoop in here so we can avoid ice being all over the place and we make sure that we're keeping our fridge nice and sanitary, right? So let's go through this. So in my first bin, I have only fruits, categories. I have my mangoes, my strawberries, and then in the back, I have my mix of the strawberries, berries, and banana that I took from the pouch that I bought from the market and in the first two I have my berries and my bananas in my second bin is all veggies so I have my asparagus right I cut it up and I made it fit into this pouch this is the mini mid and as you can see there's so much space still left over that is my broccoli in the back I have my corn on the cob and then in the one in between I have my cauliflower and there's still space there's still space in this bin if I needed to add more but it also fits everything fits nice and comfortable and that's super important to note as well you want to make sure that everything's not stacked up on top of each other you want to have access to pull things out you want to have access to see what you have you want to be able to pull your items in and out effortlessly so this is how the freezer is looking you saw the top this is the bottom and like I said categories 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 that is the key to keeping your freezer your refrigerator and anything you're organizing really to keep it nice and organized you want to make sure that everything has a home another tip is you want to make sure that your drawers that they are able to flow you're able to push them and maneuver them and they slide in and out easily if they are not and you're struggling to pull it back in and out then there's something wrong the items that you're using are too bulky they're too much they're too large and you know you don't want to interrupt the flow of the drawers you want to be able to um, pull them effortlessly something else you want to keep in mind is you like I said you want to make sure that all of your items come out of where you put them effortlessly so like if I want to pull this out I should be able to do it with very minimal effort and push it back and put it back with very minimal effort you want to make sure the bags that you are choosing are working with the bins and the sizes you are using I find that if it's too difficult to move or it's not easy to put back and take out and slide in and out, that's when you're going to run into trouble and then you're not going to stick to the solution and the organizing um, component you put together. What usually happens is you start throwing things back in and out because when you are in a rush or you don't have the patience or you don't have the time or you don't have the energy, you're just gonna start throwing things in. So that's why it's super important to make sure that everything fits nice and comfortable. Everything has its home, everything has its space, and everything is taking minimal effort and time to just grab and go. If you stood to the end and you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe, become part of my tribe. I would love to have you. We have some fun, fun things coming up. Definitely hit that like button if you like my suggestions and you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of it. Definitely leave me some comments, suggestions, questions. I love to hear from you guys and I always try to make the absolute best effort to get back to you in a timely manner. I hope I inspired you all to get rid of all these boxes and get rid of your freezer looking like this. 
organizing and getting ourselves into alignment is the best investment we can make for ourselves is the best gift we can give to ourselves because when we invest in our alignment we are investing into our peace we are investing into our happiness we are investing into living our best lives and changing old patterns and behaviors to welcome the new so less of this and more of this and i will see my beautiful beautiful souls in my next video bye